Second impact syndrome involves uh, two uh, mild head injuries or concussions, uh, mild traumatic brain injuries are also referred to, um, in close proximity to each other. Typically the literature suggests that uh, second impact syndrome um, happens when uh, an athlete has been injured early in a game and then maybe later in the game. It was not, uh, in, we did not see that the person had that injury um, uh, originally and they get an injury on top of it. It also can happen though within days of the, of the first injury. So if you've had one injury and then four days later have another mild concussion, uh, you may end up with second impact syndrome. Second impact syndrome is a catastrophic reaction um, in the second uh, uh, exposure. And what that really means is we have uh, a massive uh, intracranial pressure um, and that involves autoregulatory systems uh, in the vascular system. When that happens, a player in fact uh, can die um, or have a very, very catastrophic outcome due to this intracranial pressure. So it looks like a very severe head injury even though it's been only two mild head injuries. Um, this is different though than what we talk about with regard to the cumulative effects uh, in the brain. The cumulative effects we believe at this point um, can relate to uh, a degenerative neurologic condition um, which is called uh, uh, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. In this there uh, is a change in brain tissue that is not related to intracranial pressure or bleeding um, or any autoregulatory problem but is rather a degeneration of tissue over time based on the fact that the person has had multiple concussive or subconcussive events. The difficulty of course with um, studying this is uh, you, you can't do an experimental design to give some group of uh, athletes uh, a lot of concussions um, and then and have other players that don't get concussions and compare them 30 years down the line as to what their brains look like. The interesting research that's going on with uh, Dr. McKee and others um, shows us though that uh, some professional athletes uh, that have died at early ages um, of unrelated causes, uh, their brains in fact uh, look like they have uh, a a severe uh, degenerative neurologic condition, much like Alzheimer's disease, but it, it is different um, histologically in some respects.